If there is grace in this world, if there is light on this earth, let us use it. Let us see it. Starting right now. Okay, I'm sure you can guess where we are. Obviously, we're in Cairo and Egypt. It's really, really hot, even though it's not even summer yet. And it took us about an hour and a half to two hours to get Oscar permission to come in here, despite the fact that there were about 100 or 200 stray dogs howling in the background. But uh, Egypt is an amazing place. Um, animal welfare is not exactly high on the agenda. In fact, it's probably second to China in the biggest problems with dealing with animal welfare. But we are visiting Spare, and it's an amazing organization run by a very inspirational woman called Amina. So let's go check out the shelter. And it doesn't matter what book you read. Is there the spare shelter is located within the outer limits of the Cairo city center. It's a small place with a big heart of volunteers who don't really speak much English. There are about a hundred dogs inside here, and while dog adoption is a very rare occurrence in Egypt, at least this place is a haven from the legal shooting and poisoning of the stray dogs outside. Amina, you started Spare nine years ago. Tell us a little bit about the organization and the shelter. How it happened that I was crying all the time with some of my friends who are animal lovers about the horrors happening to the dogs and cats and animals in Egypt in general. Then my husband told me, stop crying, because crying will not help the animals a lot. If you want to do something, do it seriously. I told him, but people will laugh at me because in Egypt I will be the first one who is doing that. He said, no matter, I know a land here, let's go and visit this land to see if it's still for renting or not. And we came and we saw that the land was very cheap. We took it, we start. Of course, people laughed at us. We were ridiculed everywhere, we were attacked everywhere for a while. And then a few years after, many others opened the shelter too. And this is how it started. It started with five dogs, no cats, two workers and myself. Now we have 10 workers, 80 dogs, 40 cats, 16 donkeys, and 10 other organizations working. One of them is the AWARE organization, yes. and many others, because I took the first step. And they're not laughing at you anymore. They actually, it looks like they stand up and actually look They're laughing the less than before. <laughs> But we, I can say that we are much more respected than before, really. Well, I think what you've done here is just amazing. I mean, you just prove that if you want to do something, you can. Change, you can. You can. You're, you're amazing. Thank you. You are. <laughs> We're amazing. You are. No, really. We needed you so much. This, exactly at this time, we needed you. Okay, so it's been exactly two weeks since we started this tour. We've landed in Cairo. In fact, it was about a two o'clock in the morning flight from Nairobi and I feel like hell, but it doesn't take away anything from the inspiration that I have met today in, in one Amina Vasna, who is a passionate Egyptian lady who not only has started um, the biggest shelter in Cairo, but also has this amazing donkey sanctuary. Um, and we're gonna be doing some really cool things with her. Can we be down with ourselves? Respectful and mindful of one, of one another. 
The donkeys are used in Egypt for transportation, for carrying. They are called the beast of burden. Uh, they are one of the most abused species in Egypt and they are not expensive. So they are really abused and the owner knows that he can buy others. So what we do in spare or what I do myself is sometimes when I see a really bad condition, a donkey in a very bad condition, I, I just buy him and castrate him and bring him home where he will spend the rest of his life in security, eating, playing, happy. He deserves it. They deserve it, really. And lots of carrots. Lots of carrots and lots of love. That's not what he means. And it doesn't matter what book you read. Oscar's arrival into Cairo also made it possible to meet with the veterinary council. These guys are the guys in charge of what happens to all the animals in Egypt. Even Mr. Talib Murad Ali Elam from the United Nations was present. While Oscar charmed his impressive audience to a few strokes of breaststroke in the Nile after chasing the Sphinx hours before, the rest of us discussed the state of animal welfare in Egypt. Everyone agrees that the concept of animal welfare is in its infancy in Egypt, but the team did agree that Egypt is on its way to creating more humane ways of dealing with their animals. Let's hope that that's true, or Oscar may just return to eat their famous cat. Meow. Love more.